I think if you're going to uh, address any complex topic or any change, it's really a, you know, a top-down, bottom-up approach to um, uh, how you're educating the staff. And it's not just simply a compliance exercise. It is, you know, what are they learning? Is the topic relevant? Is it presented in an engaging fashion? All of these sort of areas that you, you actually need to hit and do well to get that education. And the other real critical piece is dealing with the, the culture and the message coming from the top of an organization. If staff learning compliance training, but they're seeing something different in the organization, they're seeing a different culture, they're seeing a different approach by management, it doesn't gel and they see the disconnect and it doesn't work. But once you get both of these working in harmony, they reinforce each other so that folks realize, hey, I needed to learn this topic. I now understand because of my training its relevance and how it applies, but I can also see that within the organization, the structure, it's being reinforced. And I think most people want to work for an organization that is taking this seriously because compliance training also uh, deals with their jobs. It deals with issues of bullying, discrimination, sexual harassment, work health and safety. Uh, these are important topics, not just to the organization, but to the, to the staff, to the workplace, to the environment. In bringing this education, this realization of what needs to happen, that creates that culture so that if education is moving towards change, you're changing the corporate culture. You know, a corporate uh, culture that's in tune with compliance, understands its risks, uh, uh, understands the reason for the risks and reasons for the, the processes, you're much more likely to get folks that are doing the right thing and moving in the right direction.